Do you need to replace your Roland VS series printhead? We can show you how. First, it's important to turn off your printer. Turn off the sub power switch, then turn off the main power switch. Next, you will need to remove the external right and top covers. You must now access the carriage. Open the front cover. Manually move the tool carriage and head carriage to the left, ensuring that they are no longer positioned above the capping unit. Once you've accessed the carriage, you must remove the carriage cover. Unscrew the carriage cover. Locate the screws on the left, right, and top of the cover. The next step is disconnecting the ribbon cables from the print head and carefully placing them under the carriage board. You will now need to stop the ink flow by using an Allen key and turning the ink valve 45 degrees to stop ink from flowing into the dampers. The next step is to remove the head assembly. Remove the screws securing the head and take out the print head. Unhook the head cover. Carefully lift the dampers, ink tubes, and head cover while releasing the head cover hooks. Now it's time to install the new print head. Attach the dampers, ink tubes, and head cover to the new print head and ensure the side markings are correctly placed. Labeled F should be in front, labeled R should be in rear. Once you've correctly replaced the new print head, reconnect the ribbon cables to the new head. Secure the head with the screws, you do not need to do this in a specific order, and bundle the ink tubes with the wire saddles, pushing them toward the back of the head carriage. Next, reassemble the carriage and top cover. Manually move the head carriage into lock position. Reattach the right top cover. Now you can power on to access service mode. To do this, turn on the main power switch only. Do not use the panel power yet. On the panel, press the following keys in this exact order. Down, right, left, up, right, down, left. After that sequence, press and hold the left, down, and right keys. While holding these three keys, press the power button on the panel. Next, you must input head rank by navigating to Print Menu, Head Rank. Then enter the head rank which you will find printed on the label of the head box using the following commands. Left, right keys to select digits, up, down keys to adjust values. After you've entered the head rank, press enter to save the settings. Finally, perform a powerful cleaning and run a test print to confirm functionality. Don't hesitate to contact us with any questions or if you need assistance. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more step-by-step -step video tutorials.